Delicious move. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to the Road to Glory. Quite a bit to get through before we go live for rewards. It's a little bit different to normal actually because with rewards uh, on Thursdays, I would just record the whole thing live, here are my rewards, job done. But EA yesterday of course dropped two brand new UCL SBCs, the two player upgrade pack and the, the premium uh, SBC which I was actually gunning for here. I was rinsing the club of all rare cards that weren't that sort of important. And I was doing these two player packs. Finally, I think on the fourth, I said finally, on the fourth one, maybe even the, the fifth one, we hit a walkout and I was chuffed. I was begging for Brazil, but we got uh, Christian Eriksen, which is still fantastic. We were, if you've been following the Road to Glory for well, a long time now, you'll know that in the beginning of the game when we started to upgrade the team considerably, we were looking at, uh, at, at the standard Ericsson, and I didn't use him. There is a chance we get Ericsson into the team. I'm not sure yet, though. I'd have to have a look at it. But we do end up uh, packing something else rather substantial. This was something that I said about, and people took it the wrong way to mean that I was going to start completing other SBCs. Humble Beginnings is such a good way to trade for lack of a better word, because you can submit a full rare bronze team, which will cost you no more than 3k, and whatever you get in this silver pack, chances are you're going to make your money back, sometimes even with one player, as I did here. So I did this from Socrates, Not you know, we, we'll, we'll complete Socrates at some point toward the back end of the game, but I just wanted the silver cards, because I knew that we were going to get something worth money. This guy's worth about 4k, first player was worth about 1,000, and there was at least four or five other players in there worth about a thousand coins. So we have made a, a substantial amount of money. For, I bet it's like 10, 15k from the whole just one silver pack, which was incredible. I did a few more. And I, I said I did a few more. I did a lot more. I spent probably about 15, 20k getting the players to be able to put into the SBC. I used whatever we had in the club as well. Got Dembele, 85. I got, I, there's some I didn't record uh, as well. I don't know whether you guys would have seen this, but I got Perrin, the uh, Juve goalkeeper, 85 rated. Obviously got Glick just then. We've got Dembele. We packed Christian Eriksen. I did one more, and I was like, right, I'm done. And I got a walkout, and I was begging for Brazil. Because if we get Neymar, he would go into the team. But it was Spanish CDM. Normally, this would be a dead card, right? But he's 90 rated, uh, Sergio Busquets which is awesome for whichever SBC I decide to do, because we've got a choice to make. So like I said at the beginning, there's a lot to get through, and we do have a decision. So uh, this is the transfer pile. As you can see, top left, 168,000 coins. We, I think we were at about 173, 174. I went down to 150, or just below, and now we're back up to 168. A little bit of trading here or there, but we did get lucky from that humble beginnings pack where we made back about 15k. So, essentially, I've managed to pack Ericsson, Sergio Busquets, Perrin, and Glick, and a couple of, a couple of others here or there, for, I would, say, I would say nothing. We've used basically everything we've got in the club, but we're about to replenish that with rewards. So, theoretically, we've not spent anything, and we've, we've got what we've got, right? So... I sold Dani Alves for just the 20k. We've got uh, Dani Caballos there for 8k. Perotti for 8.5. All these are the players that we're trading with right now. Buying them in the left wing position. Converting them to a left mid and selling them on. And then, again, same goes. And then we've got Rodri here for 12 uh, to 50. Ariola, who incidentally, it won't show you. But I bought him... <clears throat> my voice keeps going. I bought him... Uh, quite a while ago now, because I was doing a video about a certain player, I can't remember who it was, and I needed a French keeper. And rather than, because we were playing rivals and I wanted to have a, a better chance of, of winning the games, I went for the UCL version because he was like 1.5k. So I've actually made quite a lot of money on him. Um, someone like Phil Jones selling for 4k, you know this um, this small promotion here is a bit messed up. Falke for 1.8, I would have shown you yesterday. Dubois sold for 1.5. I thought I might as well just get rid of whatever we have, right? So Champions League-wise, even if I've got 78 rated cards, they still sell for nearly 2k each, which is awesome. These two, again, I think I showed you yesterday. Those are the players that we're trading with, and again, same three there. And then we get into the cards that, um, again, I would have showed you him, I would have showed you him. I don't know if I would have showed you him, but I think I broke even. 
These two, I mean, he, he sold for two eight. Nice. Um, I, I, I've made very minimal coins on these two. I, I mean, him right there, I've probably made about nine hundred coins. Him, I've probably made about two hundred coins. This was one of the plays we got in the pack. Of course, sold for one two, which was decent. Um, I think I got him in the pack. Sold him for five hundred. He sold for five nine. I showed you that yesterday. He sold for four k. That's the one of the ones we got in the pack. These two we got in the pack as well, right? So. Um, Norwegian centre back, I believe, from the Dutch league, 900 coins, uh, 450 on the open bid because someone is that th that cheap they can't spend the extra 50 coins. I can now get rid of all of those, thankfully, because they've been doing my heading. Because I'm not knowing which um, I have to keep it to show you, right? And I didn't clear it after yesterday, and I couldn't tell which I hadn't sold and which I had sold. So this guy just isn't selling. He will eventually, I'm sure, but for right now, he's actually getting on my tits. So. Nice. Uh, we've sold. Um, we've sold all of the gold cards that we had. We were trading with, so I can go back and relist those because I've got some more Vinicius Juniors and Depaul um, cards as well. This guy again is getting on my nerves. You look at this, right? And this is him in his right wing position, and the cheapest one is a thousand coins. Now, I bought him for nine hundred as a right wing, converted him down, which means I'm about one one into him, so I can make about six hundred coins profit if he sells for one seven. But people just aren't biting right now for some strange reason. I'm just trying to get rid of some of these cards that have been here for so long. I'm not necessarily hoping to make money on them. I just want them gone because they are doing my head in now. Right. The the question that I have before we claim rewards, and I know this is long-winded, but like I said, there's a lot to do here. So the question is, right, they've released this, um, this, this Champions League SBC. We've been doing the upgrade. I've used everything I've got in the club. I've spent the money. We've made it back. But effectively, we've got Ericsson, Busquets, Perrin, Glick, and Dembele, and a couple of others as well, to go towards this, right? Now, everything you see there is pack-pulled from that SBC. So as you can see, I've done quite a few of them, but I've not really spent any money. We've just used what players we had. I need three chem, <clears throat> but I can do that by converting him down to a CM. We get one chem. Bus gets down to a CM, we'll get one chem, and Dembele down to a right mid, and we'll get one chem. So that's three chem. Not a problem, we can submit that, and we can get ourselves something. I put a poll out on Twitter, because I, I watched Bateson open ten of these, right? And his best player was, uh, well, I mean, arguably, rating-wise, it was 90-rated Alexi Sanchez. Remember when we had him and someone told me to sell him because I've wasted all my coins? Well done, mate. Um... If I packed him, he actually packed him twice. If I packed him, he wouldn't fit into the team. Well, not fit, but he wouldn't go into the team, right? He also packed Jordi Alba, who may or may not fit into the team, but I, I wouldn't be excited by it. I don't need him, because eventually we want to go into Van Dyke, right? So I can't use him with Van Dyke, so that's irrelevant. He didn't pack one single player out of 10 that got me excited to the point where I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I'd use him. And then I'm looking at the list, and realistically... There's only, I would say, six, maybe seven out of 40, 50 cards that would actually fit into the team. Because it's if it was tradable, I, I would do it. But because it's going to be untradable, unless I pack something I can use, it's essentially just a high-rated card. But I'm giving up a 90-rated Sergio Busquets to complete this. I'm also giving up Glick and I'm giving up Perrin. As you notice, I haven't got Christian Eriksen in here. The reason I've not put Christian Eriksen in is because A, I can do it without Christian Eriksen, and B, I kind of want to keep him to go into the main team for now. However, there is a, another SBC we could do that would um, that would make me think twice about keeping Eriksen, and that is the 88 Steven Gerrard. Now, that's it. It's done. I could submit that right now, get a 100k pack, happy days. Unfortunately... I would have to give up Fernando Torres, which is not something I really want to do. I have come to terms with it in a sense that I know it's for the greater good and I know that I don't really use him, so what's the point keeping him? But it is still in the back of my mind that is the only 92 Fernando Torres or the the, the only usable Fernando Torres that will be released this year is that one. So do I really want to get rid of him? Don't know. Um, Rewards-wise, I've got a confession and I, it's not... Um, I don't see it as a bad thing. You might see it as a bad thing. I didn't play to rank 2 on purpose. Not because I think rank 3 is better. Not because I couldn't be bothered. 
I had a decision to make, and it was either grind the UCL SBC or play FIFA to get into rank two. And I weighed it up, and I thought either getting a, a UCL premium SBC done was more important, or getting cards for Gerard was more important than getting an extra couple of packs. And I say extra couple of packs, they're not really, because we are going to claim division rival rewards here, and I'm going to take the four mega packs. So we have still got four what I like to call Ronaldo packs. We've packed two Ronaldos this year from 35k packs. If I'd chosen to get to rank two, then we weren't too far away. It wouldn't have been that difficult, but it was literally a case of if I play the games, I won't have time to grind it. So effectively, I wouldn't have packed Ericsson, Perrin, Dembele, or Sergio Busquets. I would have just been, I would have been gambling with it. Well, I, I gambled with it anyway, but you know what I mean? It, I, I, it worked out in the end. If I'd gone for rank two, then we would have, um, sorry, rank two. Instead of 435Ks, we'd have two. We'd also have 250Ks and 215Ks. The 15Ks are irrelevant. So basically what I've done is I've swapped 250Ks for 235Ks. Genuinely can't remember the last time I packed anything decent in a 50K anyway. So I'm all right with it because we've got Ericsson and, and Busquets and a couple of others as well. So we can now complete the 88 Gerard because I didn't play Rivals. So it's kind of worked out okay. Next week, we'll get rank two. I'll, I'm going to actually try and play full 30 games this weekend as well, providing the game doesn't... Uh, drive me mental but um silver one again because you know we, we we just stopped i was i was doing really well this weekend as well actually i can't remember what i finished 11 and 11 and 4 or something 11 and 3 but um we get 20k coins we get another mega pack so we've got five of those we've got the rubbish 100k pack to open and we get one player pick right so 20k on top of my money right now is bringing us close to 200,000. The player pick, I can't remember who's in team of the week. I don't think there's anything substantial there, so we're just going to open it, and we're going to get ourselves... Hey. Hey. That, that's the second red Dante that I've that I've gotten, by the way. I'm probably going to choose him because he's 85 rated. I would love to pick up Hatem Ben Arfa because of the five-star skills and the fact that he's just a bit of banter to use. However... In the interest of saving some money here, I am going to go with the 85 Dante because we could put him in an SBC instead of, um, well, maybe. I was thinking maybe instead of one of the UCLs and maybe we could still work out a way to get the UCL upgrade done. I just, I've been put off doing that UCL upgrade, not necessarily by the Twitter poll because the Twitter poll is in favour of Gerard, by the way. I don't even know if I've got that far in the conversation, but... The Twitter poll is definitely in favour of me just completing Steven Gerrard as opposed to opening the UCL pack. But um, I've been put off by it just by seeing people, you know, packing Pulisic's and stuff. And then thinking to myself, unless I pack Ronaldo or Messi, there's literally not a card there that would actually make me want to put him into the starting eleven. This is the worst pack of the lot then. We don't get a walkout, which is okay as long as we get a board, which we don't. So... That's great. Um, Rugani, uh, you, you never know. Could could be used for something. I mean, to be fair, I've used nearly every player that I have in the club. So all this is just replenishment, which is nice. Plus, if I want to complete Carlos Vela, I'm now either going to have to buy all the cards. That was tradable. Um, I'm either going to have to now buy all the cards again, or I'm going to have to pack them. Because I've pretty much used everyone. Because I had it all planned out, and I, I built it all. I'm going to have to um, buy them all again because I've basically used them all in those UCL upgrades. No walkout in the first 35k, not even a board, which is fantastic. Uh, we get Carlos Tevez. I, I mean, you know, I, I would take one walkout, even if it was just an 86. Just something with a bit of a, a rating to it, you know. Squad fitnesses is another uh, another good thing to come out of the, um, of the fact that we have... Oh, she's tradable. Nice. Um... Yeah, squad fitnesses is another sort of good byproduct, if you will, from opening so many 35k packs, which you don't get with 50k's. I use a lot of squad fitness cards, so um, swings and roundabouts. Let's open another one, and we get ourselves no walkout. Come on, EA, be generous to me. This is a board, though. Be it an oh, it's an inform. That's fantastic. Uh, Swedish striker. It's going to be uh, Isaac, which is cool. But the fact that we've got an inform has just saved me about 20k, which is great. So, the first, uh, the, 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 well, sorry, no, the second of the 
35k packs coming up uh, coming up trumps there. I say 20k. Oh, he's actually down. Oh, wow, he's really cheap. Okay, so that means that informs aren't going for that much anymore. That's actually really good. We can maybe... I'll, I'll get the rear Electrum from Gerard today. To be honest, I could probably complete... We are close. I don't know how much money it would cost me, but we are close to being able to complete Gerard like today. Um, if we can get lucky out of the next couple of packs here, then you never know. I literally, I think if I can get myself um, like an 86 or an 87, maybe even an 88, that would be the dream. Um, then we could, I, I reckon we could complete it and we could complete the other, um, the other, what is it, the world class section as well. So, essentially, what I've just opened then is my first pack from rank 3, which is an inform, which is fine. I'm happy with that. A lot of you will be questioning my um, my dedication to it by not going for rank 2, I'm sure. But so far, we've done alright. We're not going to get a board out of this one, which is a shame. We are going to get uh, Andre Gomez. Not a great pull. I don't know whether to do more of the UCL packs, though. I think maybe I should just um, stop now. Because we've got ourselves... Hey, a thousand coins. We've got ourselves what we wanted. You know, we've got a couple of high-rated cards. Christian Eriksen that we could potentially use. Um, I think it, it might be time to call it a day. But, I don't know, part of me is thinking now we've got all these players back in the club. No walkout again, which is a huge shame. Not even a board once more, which is another massive shame. Uh, it's going to be Luis Alberto, which is an 82. Eh, not really bothered by that. Shame. We were doing really well. Nice uh, set of squad fitnesses, though. That'll do us uh, nicely for the um, for the upcoming weekend league. Please be... Uh, it's a duplicate. Untradeable. I could go round and blah, blah, but I'm not going to. And in the final pack, this may or may not be tradable. Technically speaking, this could be the pack from the weekend league rewards. I can't remember if we've already opened a tradable 35k. But this is going to be the final pack of... Um, of the rewards. I will probably go do the rear Electrum today, though, from Gerard, because that won't cost us anything. Well, it will. It'll cost us like 10k. We're not going to get a walkout, but we are going to get a board. And the board is uh, Henrik McTerian, which is a duplicate, but I, like I said, I think it should be tradable. And we've got McTerian in the 88 rated squad, so if we were to submit that, then uh, we'd have him anyway. Uh, Neres with potentially a man of the match performance. Um, do they play in? Do they play? Was it Juve? I think they played Juve. Great goal from him. If you haven't seen it, go check it out on Twitter. And then of course three squad fitnesses. This is tradable, which is awesome. So we can store those two. Get rid of the French badge and the kits and the Chilean league manager thing. I don't know. I haven't been looking. I'm kind of hoping we got uh, quite a few right wing and left wing to to left mid right right mid cards. They they come in handy. Uh, sent it forward to ST, can come in handy at some point. Discard those. So, if I can go and get an inform for literally 10k, then there's nothing stopping me now just from... Oh, hello, don't want to do that. There's nothing stopping me from just going into Steven Gerrard. Clicking on this world class thing, which we haven't even bothered with yet. I only need 70 chem. If I just go into... Where is he? Where are you? Um, there he is. Right, so we get Isaac. Oh, yeah, I just... Uh, someone sent me something on Twitter, actually. You know what I said yesterday? Was it yesterday or the day before? I mentioned about foot swap items and the fact that I've got a bunch of um, foot swap cards from previous foot swaps and that it would be awesome if they brought out some sort of... Like, like they did with the... Um, the foot champions thing it would be awesome if they brought out some sort of like swap where you could put all your dead ones in uh someone found in the code that that's exactly what they're doing and then someone asked me did i work for ea and i told him to shush because everyone would want uh everyone would want free fifa points but uh, no i don't work for ea unfortunately so I, i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna complete this today because this is only gonna cost me like 10k plus we'll use the players we have in the club in fact i'm gonna go to the open market rather than do it the lazy way this could be a long episode, and if it is, if you like that sort of thing, then you're in luck. If you don't like that sort of thing, then unfortunately you're going to have to listen to my voice for a little bit longer. But uh, I'm not going to edit this because it's just raw. It's exactly what you guys want to see. So we need. I think we need a... I'm not going to make a mistake by buying a silver in form because it's just not worth the risk. I think... Um, 
we need a gold one. Is anybody right? There's Isaac there. I can't buy him because he's a duplicate. There you go. I've got that guy. It'd be 10k. 11k. That'll do. 11,000 coins to complete that SBC. The the fact that we're trading now as well actively, and it's, it just it kind of it annoys me a little bit that I'm doing it now and I haven't been doing it for the entire game. Uh, because can you imagine how much money we'd have? If I was trading from the beginning. Because I'm not exactly doing like crazy things. I'm not going out and investing hundreds of thousands. And then making hundreds of thousands back again. But we are making money. And our, our coin balance has gone up considerably since I've started doing it. So you know we're doing well. So after buying two players. Uh, Pacheco the goalkeeper and Santi Cazola. I don't think I needed to buy Santi Cazola to be fair. Could have just converted uh, the CDM to a CM. But... It's only 900 coins. We got a rare Electrum players pack back for this. Going to submit the two informs, of course. The rest of those are just fodder, so I'm not that bothered. That's um, that's good. I'm glad I waited though, uh, for rewards to get myself uh, to get myself an inform because if I just bought the two informs, it would have cost me like 20k. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure which uh, I want to complete. Well, I, that's a lie. I'm not going to do the UCL uh, premium. Because I've seen too many people, uh, people are tweeting me and going, I think it's worth a punt. Although I haven't said that, I got shafted with Pulisic. Like, that's literally what people are telling me. Oh yeah, do it, but I got Pulisic. Like, that, I don't, the thought of submitting everything, Busquets and all the rest of them, and getting that American flag pop-up, or getting the the French flag pop-up, thinking, oh, this could be something decent, and then it's uh, Nabil Fekir, who's only 86 rated, or... Edin Dzeko or something, that would be a complete, like, oh god. I know it's like, oh, you only live once, go for it. It could be the Argentinian flag, you could get Messi, but there's literally like four or five players in the entire lot that I would be chuffed to get. The rest of them would be pointless to me. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to do the Gerard um, 88 rated squad. We open our rear Electrum. We have got a board. It's a big flare, actually. Another inform. Fantastic. French centre forward. It's, oh, it's Hatem Ben Arfa, would you believe it? So the player that we passed up on, the guy I wanted for the memes, we've actually got. Well, ask and you shall receive. Thank you very much, EA. Um, so we've got the Dante, the red player pick, that we can use in an SBC of some sort. We've got the 82 Ben Arfa, which I will more or less be guaranteed to be doing a video on. And did we... Oh, we've got an Udinese right mid that sells for 5k as well. Happy days. Okay, down to about 4k, but still, 4k is uh, is an amount that I will take. Well done, thanks, EA. Appreciate that. Anyone else in this pack that would sell for something? Maybe, maybe this left mid. Um, you know, I'll take it, and that's why humble beginnings is so good because you get cards like this for days. Uh, Danish uh, Danish league left mid doesn't really sell for an awful lot. Uh, championship, you can maybe get about 700 coins from him. Which is kind of cool. So yeah, we've made a bit of money there from doing that. Well, I say made a bit of money. We got... Well, I say we, we did, didn't we? Because we, we packed the one in form. We bought one and then we spent like another 900 coins or whatever. So I think he's probably worth a bit more. Yeah, oh wow, he's actually worth about 20... Okay, maybe maybe not as much as I thought he was initially. But uh, about 20k. That's not bad. You know, eighteen to 20,000 coins for Hatem Ben Arthur. I'll, I'll sell him after I use him for a little bit. But there we go. So yeah, if I submit that, we lose all those cards. But we are then only realistically one SBC like portion away from being able to complete Moments Gerard. Because the icon doesn't count. We'll have a 100k pack. We could potentially wait until, well, tomorrow we could have a, a promo. You never know. So should I submit this now? Just get it out of the way. And then maybe uh, do everything I can between now and tomorrow before Weekend League starts to really go for the 87 rated team. And then submit Nakata and get ourselves the Moments Gerard. Someone told me that Moments Gerard is not worth it and I won't I won't enjoy him. It's Steven Gerard, mate. He could literally be too rated and I would get on with him quite well. Um, it's not all about the ability in game. It's about the mental aspect of it. It's Steven Gerard, and I know it's Steven Gerard. So every time I'm on the edge of the area, I'm going to scream Gerard. Every time I'm chasing back, I'm going to slide from behind, take the ball and probably get sent off. It's... That kind of a thing, you know, it's I love him in real life, so I'm going to really enjoy him in game regardless of how good or bad he is. I've used the, the base icon, I thought that was fantastic. So I think I'll get, get on just well with the moments. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Should we just go for this now? Should we just submit everything that we have and get this Gerard? 
let me know. I don't know. I'm Half of me is like, oh, go on, gamble with the UCL, but I can't do it. As much as I want to do it for content reasons, I can't do it. If you have enjoyed this very long-winded episode of The Road to Glory, do me a favor and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye.